All right, hey guys, good morning. Actually, I'm gonna do a call live, uh, impromptu. I've got someone asking questions about auction properties. Today's Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays are traditionally a little busier at auction than the other days for whatever reason. Uh, one of the trustees puts uh, most of those houses going to auction on Tuesdays and Thursdays rather than other days. So he's asking questions and so this will kind of be fun. I just wanna get him on the line and answer the questions because these are great questions that he's asking by text. So I'm gonna call him and uh, we'll go over the questions live and I I think these uh, questions and answers will help you. Hey, Spencer. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Doing awesome, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. It sounds like you got a uh, couple questions about the auctions. Oh yeah, so uh, how fast do you want the money wired you? Okay, so what happens with auction is if we buy today, I personally put down a $10,000 non-refundable check and okay. uh, we actually have to settle up with the trustee by five o'clock tomorrow by, um, and so we have to have the funds, the cash to the trustee by tomorrow before five o'clock. And now if you're not paying full cash, we can get a hard money lender lined up if you've got about 20% down we can get the hard money lender lined up. So we've got to pay full cash okay. tomorrow. Okay, so at least 20% or have a hard, full cash or 20% with the hard money. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay, so what is the hard money lender usually take if you got really good credit? Hard money lenders aren't based off credit. They're all asset based okay. because they secure a deed of trust. And in Arizona, hard money lenders, there's several that I know that can fund trustee deals. I can help you out with one of my contacts. I mean, interest rates, okay. you know, vary on, on the hard money. I don't know if you've got hard money before or not. I have, I've, I've just always done cash, but yeah. uh, I got one that's closing. I got wire funds for today that I bought last, you know, two weeks ago or whatever it was. And then, so I'd have to move money around to make it all work. So, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I just saw this one on Alder pop up yesterday. I saw it on the list and I'm like, wow, this looks like a good one, so. Yeah, Alder has been uh, pretty popular so far this morning. Um, I sent an email to you and the driver to send you pictures as soon as the driver's over there. I don't know if you've drove, drove by yourself and have a, a beat. I haven't, but I, I know that neighborhood. I've been in there a few times, so. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that answers that. Is it pretty sure when they're on the list they're gonna hit the auction, or is there, do sometimes they drop off, or how does that work? Great question. So. Auction properties, if they have an opening bid, more than likely they're going to go. But you know, if they and they if they don't have an opening bid, they've already postponed or canceled. Only a one okay. per, only a one percent chance that, that that can change. And so, if they have an opening bid, we hope that they go. But probably at least half the properties today with opening bids will postpone or cancel. So, you've always got to plan on and plan on them going, and because you just never know. So we we got to be prepared that it's going to go. Okay, and then. Do I just text you with, if I see something I want, I just text you my max that I'll pay? Yeah, yeah, just text me your max bid, the address and your max bid, and I will go uh, check and make sure everything's good to go and get to the right place at the right time, make sure that we're buying a first mortgage, and uh, correct. So just t tell me what your max bid is and we'll make that happen. Okay, and then I think I have one more question on that list, I'm sure to remember. Let me check, I've got your text right here. Uh, it's still occupied and you have to get a forcible container, how does that work? Great, so yeah, so if we buy occupied, you know, two, one of two things, we go knock on the door and say, hey, we bought this house at auction, I'm the new owner. And one of two things, they're either gonna be surprised that uh, it sold at auction, which they know, um, or two, they've got some boxes in the corner and um, they're already packing up and they're getting out. So hopefully that happens and hopefully they just get out at their own free will within a few days. And if they're surprised and, and uh, not wanting to move, then yeah, uh, we're gonna have to evict them. Perfect, I think that answers everything. And cool. then let's say you get multiple bids on a property, do you just go with the highest or what do you, how does that all yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, correct. The, uh, you know, luckily, uh, the market's big enough and everyone perceives values to be uh, differently. And so on average, the property is going to sell from 70 to 80% of the perceived market value. And so, yeah, the highest the highest bidder will get the property. Um, and I'll, I'll fill you in. I don't have any numbers on this property right now. And I'll, I'll fill you in on, on the status and what's going on there. I just need to get okay. a, ma a max from you and, and we'll go from there. Okay. And then uh, one other question. Is there a way to go back in history and kind of look at stuff that sold at auction or did they publish what the closing prices were? Um, so that's hard to track because there's 12 major trustees in Arizona that hold auctions and there's not like one database that says, hey, here's auctions and here's what they sold for. But that being said, 
If you know that one sold at auction previously, just shoot me over the address and I'll let you know what it sold for previously. Okay, sweet. So if I see, like all their, I can tell, it's probably gonna be a $78,000 rehab. Right. Uh, so I would say, man, I think the value is somewhere around five. Uh-huh. I'm guessing it's gonna go for 350 is that, are you, am I guessing right? I just haven't been in the auction game to know. Let me just take, if you think it's worth 500 times, just for fun, 80% is 400. So if we get it at 350, 500 times 70% is gonna be 350. So 350 I think would be a great price. I personally haven't valued it and spent time uh, doing comps on it this morning. Yeah. Um, so I can I can spend some time doing that and uh, let you know, but I think if you if we buy it around 350, it'd be a good deal. Okay, sounds good. And I'm, I may not, I probably won't bid on this one, I'll just kind of watch it. Oh, cool. I would totally, I would totally do it. I just kind of, I like to kind of watch and see how it all works and then yeah. go for it, you know what I mean? Just yeah. not jump in. N not a problem. Try and, get, try and get lucky the first one, but. Yeah, not a problem. Um, let's let's just uh, be in touch on what this one sold for and any other questions that you have coming through. Happy to answer. Okay, sweet. Thanks so much. Hey, thank you. Good talking to you. All right. No problem. We'll see you, bud.